Just about to reveal one of the most creative ways you can make money on Shutterstock as a contributor by making use of artificial intelligence, so let's get started. And just to give you guys a little bit of perspective here, Shutterstock has paid out more than a billion dollars to their contributors so far over the years. So there's no doubt about it, there is a lot of money on the table. We just gotta grab our piece of the pie. In case you're not entirely familiar with the way Shutterstock.com works, this is a place where you can browse for content. And that includes images, videos, music, templates, 3D models, and the list goes on. But in today's video, we're gonna keep things very simple and just focus on pictures because those ones are the easiest to create. Now, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna ask you guys to purchase any crazy expensive camera and become a photographer. Instead, we're gonna make use of AI. But now, let me show you a few examples to make sure that everything is crystal clear. Let's just say that I wanted to add some stock footage in one of my YouTube videos in order to make it a little bit more engaging. Let's say that I'm looking for some footage of some entrepreneur in a meeting. I'm just gonna type that in and hit enter. Now, if I do that, Shutterstock is going to apply the filter and only show me relevant results as you can see. Which means that if I use this picture in one of my videos, there is a pretty good chance it might get demonetized. So the bottom line is this, there are a lot of different uses for copyright free images and videos. That's why people are using places like Shutterstock in order to grab footage. There are a lot of people that actively download pictures of a Shutterstock and reuse them. That's where the opportunity lies for us. But as you can see, most of these pictures are just regular photos taken with the camera. Now, a professional camera will probably cost you up to one or two thousand dollars. And I don't want you to purchase it unless you're very passionate about photography and you're already doing that you might consider just uploading your pictures and selling them on Shutterstock. Otherwise, I want you to focus on something else. For now, let's just connect to submit.shutterstock.com and this is where the magic happens. This is where we can start getting paid. You get to produce high quality images and videos for their customers to download. You submit your work by uploading your content. And whenever somebody downloads your piece of content, you will get paid for it. Now, if you have some other friends who are interested in that, you may want to refer them to for some extra bonuses. But let's leave that aside for now. I want to keep things very simple and straight to the point. So what you want to do is click on get started. That will send you straight over to the sign up form where you can fill out your credentials, send in your application and it should go through instantly. And at this point, I think we have enough background. You know how Shutterstock works, you know how and why you're getting paid. And all that is left for us to do is just figure out the way to create the content. And for that reason, I want you to go straight over to midjourney.com. Now, this is a tool powered by artificial intelligence that's got some insane capabilities. It's literally going to come up with some of the most impressive pieces of content that you've ever seen. And I'm talking about illustrations, realistic photos, there are countless things you can do. We're actually gonna give it a try and run a few experiments. But just to make sure that this method works, I've done my research and as you can see, you can indeed sell the pictures generated by Midjourney without any sort of issues. You can sell AI generated images provided that there's no restrictions on doing so with the AI generation tools you're using. So as long as you're a paid user of Midjourney or DALI, which is just an alternative to Midjourney, then you're free to sell those generations. Don't worry about that for now. This is not going to be a crazy expensive tool and it's got a free trial. And in order to use the free trial, you don't have to enter any sensitive information like your credit card credentials or anything of that kind. You can set up an account within minutes and you will get a bunch of tests for free. So for now, what I want you to do is just click on join the beta. And now you want to accept the invite. This is a Discord server that's got a little bit over 6 million members. So there's a lot of activity there. And so this is what the platform looks like on the other side. It might look a little bit confusing at first because it's got all of these subsections here on the left hand side. But to keep it simple, all you need to do is go over to one of the newcomer rooms. And this is where you get to test the AI and play around with it. But before we do that, I want you guys to actually take a moment and head over to the home section. Because you're gonna see some of the most impressive pieces of art you've ever seen. guys. These are generated by artificial intelligence. These are not real pictures. They weren't taken with a professional photography. These are genuinely generated by Mid Journey. And as you can spot, you've got a bunch of different styles and ideas that you can play around with. You can literally create anything, ranging from characters like these, which I have to tell you look amazing, to more realistic pictures like this one. The capabilities are insane. But just as a quick disclaimer here, in order to get to this quality, you need to know how to properly use Midjourney. 
because there's a difference between just sending instructions to the tool and using the right keywords and parameters to get a result that looks like this. But more on that later. For now, let's just go over to one of the newcomer rooms. I'm just gonna pick one at random. And you wanna type in slash imagine. That is the command you wanna send. And this is where you get to enter in your prompt. But in order to keep things relevant, let's just type in entrepreneur in a meeting because that's what we search for on Shutterstock. However, I'm also gonna add a few other keywords such as ultra details, hyper realistic. Let's see what other parameters people are sending. High quality, 8K, and I think that's good enough. And now it shouldn't take longer than 60 seconds to get your result. Mid Journey will start working on your image right away and you'll see the results are quite impressive, even with a very basic instructions line like this one. I mean, this picture right here, the one on the left hand side in the top corner looks insane. And the other ones are not so bad either. At this point, there are a few other things you can do. You can just pick one of these and get another four variations of that style. And you can keep on polishing up your design until you're satisfied. But most significantly, if you really wanna take full advantage of this website and its capabilities, you really wanna study how it works, what kind of parameters you need to send, what kind of keywords you can use in order to manipulate the result. As you've just seen, hyper-realistic seem to work, ultra HD, ultra details. You wanna play around with the wording. Remember, Midjourney is still AI. It's not a real person, so it will respond differently to various parameters. And there's another thing you can do as well. Instead of just sending the instructions in writing, you can actually start from an original picture that you can download off of Shutterstock, and then you can get variations from that. For example, I could download one of these pictures, send it over to Mid Journey, which is what these guys are doing, and ask it to slightly change it. Now, I do not know whether or not that is acceptable if you don't have the license to use that picture. So just to stay safe, you can connect to a free version, a free alternative to Shutterstock, if you will, such as pixels.com. I can search for entrepreneur in a meeting once again, just find a relevant picture. Perhaps this one right here qualifies, even though it's a little bit of a stretch. Then I can head back to Discord, click on the plus icon and upload my file. I want you guys to pay a little bit of attention here because it might get a little bit confusing. You want to upload your picture, hit enter in order to send it first. Then once it's loaded, you want to click on it, open the original picture, it's gonna open in a new tab. Now you wanna right click on it and copy the image link. Let's head back over to Mid Journey, type in imagine, and when the prompt opens, you wanna paste in your link, then add a comma and add the next instructions. For instance, we can make it hyper realistic. Again, ultra details in an exotic setting. How about that? And most importantly, when it comes to editing pictures, you want to add this parameter right here, the V4 thing, at the end of your instructions. I don't know what that means, I don't really care about it. It simply works that way, so you just wanna keep that. Again, this is why you really wanna study how the tool works properly so you can take full advantage of it and understand these tiny details that really make a difference. Just like any other tool, you can master it, right? And that will be extremely helpful. Everyone can use Photoshop, but not everyone can use Photoshop properly. And the same thing is true for Mid Journey here. Even though it's a little bit more user-friendly than Photoshop, there are still ways you can take full advantage of it. And now guys, take a look at this. These are the results you came up with. Now, I gotta tell you, the fourth one is a little bit confusing, but the second and especially the third one are really, really interesting. It literally added a spin to that image and turned it into something unique. Now, when it comes to the pricing of Mid Journey, it will only cost you about $10 a month in order to get a basic membership, and that's pretty much all you need. So it's not crazy expensive, and remember, you have a free trial. But once you're done setting up your contributor account on Shutterstock, and once you've mastered Mid Journey and you know how to properly use it, you can come up with some insane footage and you can upload it onto Shutterstock for other people to download. But if you're still watching this video, I've got a major bonus for you. Believe it or not, Shutterstock will actually help us make money on their website. And I'm not kidding. If you search for entrepreneur in the meeting, which was just a random example, you have 136,000 results. The chances of your picture standing out from the crowd are very, very slim. What you want to do is head over to the shot list. Shutterstock has actually taken the time to put together a list of the most requested designs and pictures in January. And so you can always stay on top of trends and upload relevant content that people are actively searching for. For instance, right now we're talking about the Black History Month, coding is cool, minimalist illustrations like these, 
Another one would be raising teens as a topic, which is a very specific niche. So if you think about it, the competition will probably not be as high. It will be significantly lower. Let me actually show you an example. Let's create something relevant to this topic, raising a teenager, right? I'm going to connect to Midjourney once again and run one more test. Let me type in slash imagine. And I want to type in something like parents raising a teenager, hyper realistic, ultra details and all that good stuff. And these are the results it came up with. Now, the first one of them is pretty weird. And the third one is not so great either. But these two, they are pretty good. And of course, you can keep one of them and keep making edits to it. So you've got all the resources you need to make it work. That's it for now. And thanks for watching.